Now you can automatically source your Amazon products in Google Sheets and I'm going to show you how to do it right here in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear out these sources so that you can actually see how I got the sources here. So here I have a list of products on Amazon and I'm immediately going to click source all products and what it will do is it will actually automatically take these product titles and search for them at suppliers. And when it does that, it will find some results for uh, most of the products. And for example, I'm going to look at this one and go ahead and open that up since it's ready to go. And you see the GCI Outdoor Freestyle. Okay, we see this chair. And now I'm going to look at it at the suppliers and you can see here at Walmart and Home Depot that it is the same chair right and I could open these up but you will see that these are the same chair now it works for there are many different suppliers that are going to come up here is another chair that is coming up at cabelas.com and I'm going to show you that it is the same chair it's taken a while to open this gray chair the same chair on Amazon here's the chair on Amazon right just a different color if you select gray hair on Amazon you see that this is in fact the same chair right so it does find matches and as you can see it has crawled down and found more matches below so as you go down you're gonna see more matches now sometimes matches do not come out sometimes you do get not found There's, there are different reasons why that might happen sometimes there really is no match sometimes it's just in that moment it doesn't find the match and sometimes in fact sometimes the link will pop up later so it just really depends but as you can see most of the products are being matched right most of the products and um, here goes another one and I'm really just going through and pretty much showing you some of the matches and let's see if this is the same as well and as you can see this is the same basically actually that looks a little different so um, sometimes they might be a little different. It's not perfect, but it's usually usually you do get the correct match. Now something I want you to keep in mind, however, I'm going to keep clicking on some of these, but something I want you to keep in mind is that when you use um, the much more expensive source and software, they sometimes do not match the correct products, um, even though it costs $100 a month, $80 a month. So if you see this, usually you're getting the right match, right? most of the time look at this you have the right match correct match here again okay the same product and the thing is you're not paying any monthly fee for this so that's something to really keep in mind there's no monthly fee and you're getting accurate matches here right and I can keep going down we can look at some more examples there's another chair so I pretty much searched this brand on Keepa and I'm gonna show you how to bring in the Keepa data into the Google Sheet as well but this definitely came from Keepa, and you're going to see right here, all right, at uh, Dick's Sporting Goods, you see it's the same product. And if you look at red, you see that it's the same chair, right? Now, I mean, I could keep going through and clicking on products, but basically, um, you're going to see that most of these match. Now, uh, there's the question of, how you actually get and it's still by the way it's still going through and it's still sourcing more products here now there's the question of well how do you actually get this data in here um, for this particular version of the system you can get the data from Keepa but you don't have to so by the way this is not just for Amazon alright I just updated it to import the Keepa data but you can use this with eBay titles also or uh, it could be titles from any marketplace. It could be Etsy. It could be any marketplace. Um, but as far as doing Amazon, uh, if you have Keepa, you can put the Keepa CSV in here. All right, which I can show in a little more detail. And then when you put the Keepa CSV in here, you just click uh, a button, import Keepa data, and it will bring in the ASINs, the link, and the title for you automatically. But again, you don't have to do that if you're if you have some other way to get your titles or your links, or your IDs. You can use some other way to do it as well. All right, so that's basically what's going on here. Now, once you get the sources, all right. Once you get some sources, um, now usually you should just let it finish running. And if you watch it, you'll see that it's going to continue running down here. 
and really you should let it continue running but uh, sometimes what you can do is you can rerun a certain cell so you might want to rerun this for example and see if you get a different result or you might want to rerun this you might even want to delete it and then rerun it and see if you get a, a result this time right so sometimes this does happen now the idea of this system because you might be thinking well if it doesn't get all of them but remember there's some products that may not be uh, found even when you try to source it yourself for some reason it's not at the supplier sometimes that happens so it could be that but um, the idea here is that the ones that do work and the ones that do match they have saved you a lot of time trying to match those particular ones so if you look here I have this uh, I'm not sure how many um, but it's a little bit over well it's a bit over 200 products in this list so if this finds for me even 100 products or even if it finds um, 80 or 90 right out of 200 that still saves me a lot of time even if they don't even if they're not all found right so this is the idea uh, behind using the system and uh, I mean that's basically how the system works now when you usually I would let this finish but I'm actually going to uh, stop it and cancel it because I want to show you the other stuff but when you do it let it keep you should let it keep running what you're going to do is click stamp sources and the reason why you click stamp sources is you want to remove the formula and just leave this the actual link behind otherwise it's going to keep reprocessing right so when you're all done next time when you're doing it you should wait and when it's completely finished you're going to hit on uh, stamp sources and so that you can get just the text for the links the next thing the next step is actually to export the results so here's the export sheet I'm going to make sure it's blank and I'm going to export the results from here into the export sheet and now you're going to see those results over here on the export sheet so that's my product IDs which are ASINs in this case the links product titles and you also see the sources are here, are here as well now um, the once you do that I mean that's pretty much it you could download these if you want you could do file download to Excel or to a CSV right and um, once you're done you can just clear that export sheet and you can clear sources and just pretty much clear everything here to make room for another uh, list of products but another thing I need to mention is the suppliers list uh, you, I actually had amazon.com in here before and the reason I removed it is because if you're sourcing from Amazon then you don't really want to source back to Amazon so, you, so usually I will remove Amazon as a supplier but if you are trying to source back to, from Amazon like if, say you're drop shipping from Amazon to eBay for instance well then you can type it back in right but um, you can also add your own suppliers here. I have over 3,000 here already. But you can go control down, will bring you to the bottom or page down. And uh, you can add more in here, anything you want. Okay, any other websites you want, you just add those websites in here. You just type them in, just like this, the .com domain of the website. And it will try to search that website, right? And that is basically how this works so um, this is an ongoing project this is really just the beginning so what I would like you to do is get in now early especially while it's very um, very cheap and very basic because what's gonna happen is um, I'm gonna keep updating it and I'll send you updates right so uh, when you get a copy you actually you're on that list through the email that you used to get the copy and so you will be emailed right with the update you'll be notified and um, there's a program running behind this it's going to be pre-installed into the Google Sheet however when it needs to be updated I'm gonna have to send you an ID for you to update it All right because one because now that you have the Google Sheet I won't be able to pre-install the updates I'm gonna have to send you a script ID it's very simple it's an easy thing to do but you're gonna have to go in and just add the ID in and that will update it so um, 
once you get the copy now and you get on my list, I can keep sending you updates and all that, right? So uh, this is basically the idea. Now, you might have noticed and you might be wondering why when I started the video, these two were filled in with, and now they're coming up not found. So that does happen sometimes. I do want you to be aware it's not perfect, but um, sometimes that will happen. And what will happen is uh, if you come back later to source the product, you might get a result later. All right, as you can see now, it's given results, right? So sometimes that happens. Okay, but uh, really the benefit of this, the way you use it, is that you're doing things in bulk. So even if every single one doesn't come through, again, as I was saying, the idea that you're able to do so many uh, that you did not have to do them yourself, that is really the benefit here. And then you actually can go into them. So now that these two came out, I can look at these two as well. Like I can look at this one on Amazon, right? I see that one. And then I can look at it on um, Dick's Sporting Goods, which is a sporting goods store. And they have different colors of that same product. You can see the uh, that it should match or be similar to what's on Amazon, right? Basically, it's the same product. All right, and by the way, um, it tends to work best when you have the brand. It works very good with Amazon because uh, the brand name. When the brand name is in the title, I think it works better, especially if the brand uh, is found at the retail supplier. All right, so um, this is really the idea. So if you're using the brand's system that I have, good idea, you're going to use this. Uh, find a brand, find a supplier, um, and then by searching that brand on Keepa, pulling up the product list of that brand, you know, it's in fact, what I want to do is show you how you actually bring it in to the system, right? So let me show you how you bring in the Amazon data. So I'm going to clear this product data for a second. And all you do is once you put the Keepa CSV in here, right? And to do that, by the way, all you do is file... Uh, I'll explain it quickly. File import. You go to upload, select a file from your device, and you just select the file, and uh, you you choose replace current sheet. Or you don't really have to do all that if you want. You can just do copy and paste. I have a product finder here somewhere, um, and you can just uh, take it and copy and paste. I think that's what I did actually. Um, just copy and paste it in here, and then. When on the sourcing sheet, you just click import Keepa data, and it will just import automatically the titles, the ASINs, and everything. Uh, well, only those uh, two things. The title and the ASIN will be imported, and it will create the product links for you, and you will just see, start creating the links. You don't have to wait for this to finish, because you don't need the links to do the sourcing. Right? I'm going to clear the sourcing and show you that again. You don't need the links. You need the titles. The only reason for the link is so that we can open the product and see it, right? Of course, we want to be able to open the product and see it, all right? And the only reason for the ID is because, I mean, it's part of it's how we identify products by the ASIN, right? When we upload the product or we use software, we need the, we need the ASIN, right? So, of course, it's a good idea to have the ASIN. But if you're going to do eBay, you're going to put the, you could put the eBay item number or you could leave it out and you could just put the eBay link. Right, if you want to source eBay, so whatever you're going to source, uh, you do need the title definitely, but you sh and you should have the link so you can get back to it. All right, and now again, I can start to source again if I wish. You can source one product at a time if you want with source products. Sometimes it doesn't come out, like I said. All right, so you can source one time, uh, one product at a time. Or sometimes it doesn't come out, or you can do source all products, and you'll have it actually. Uh, begin to go through and source the products all right one by one and sometimes these say not found and you might as it's completed uh, you, the best thing to do is when you do this to go do something else right so you're gonna hit source all but it takes time so you can actually go ahead and go do something else that you're working on and then when you come back it should be finished right a few minutes later or if you want you can start looking at it now but sometimes you're gonna find when you come back that the not found turns into a link. Sometimes there's a delay. So that's another thing, right? So I just want you to be aware of all these different little things with it. 
And uh, but as I said, I am also always going to be making improvements and updates. Okay, and uh, there's no monthly fee for this. It's not an add-on. Okay, it's a Google Sheet uh, with a program that I wrote that runs behind it. There's the code that you can actually see if you go to Tools Script Editor. You can see the code, but that's not the whole program. There's also a program on a Google Cloud, and that is the program that actually figures out the supplier links. All right, and that program is already attached. I already pre pre attached it to the Google Sheet. It does not store any data or anything like that. All it does is find the sources and send the sources to you. That's it. It doesn't store anything, right? It just runs. Okay, that's all it does. So uh, that is basically um, how this works overall. I mean, there are more little details I could explain on this, like match accuracy, but I don't want to get too much into it in this video. But basically, match accuracy is like uh, how much of a match it needs to be for it to get put as a source. I think 50% is what works well, and I like to just leave it at 50. If you put it too high, uh, you might get things that are not that are actually good that are not going to come out. Okay, so again, I have to kind of explain that more. That's kind of a further concept I have to explain, uh, perhaps in another video. But um, basically, you can leave it at 50%. But if you want to play with it, go ahead. You know, and uh, you have the number of sources. 10 is the max. But if you don't want it to ever have too many sources, maybe you only want one or two or three sources, yes, you can change this uh, to other numbers, and it will never go past that number. Right? It's a max number. Okay, max, meaning the most it will ever show you per product. All right? So that's something else that's in here as well. So, um, so anyway, that's it. It's basically the program. If you would like to try it out and check it out, definitely find the link in the description of this video and if you have any comments or questions or suggestions leave them below however uh, I do say leave comments questions or suggestions below on YouTube I don't mean really your personal uh, like if you there are just certain things that you guys ask me that it's actually better if you email me because um, it's not like I can send you a file on YouTube so if I need to send you something or uh, anything like that, I can't do it on YouTube. So then you're still going to have to email me. So there's no really point. For things like that, like a personal problem with the system that you have, that you're something you don't, that you need to do, uh, better you email me. So, but if you have like more of a general question, a general idea about the system, a general comment, right, you can just leave that right here in YouTube. Okay, so there's a difference. I want you to understand the difference between a general comment question, general suggestion, and a very specific thing that you need uh, for your specific situation. That for that, you should send an email. Or right? it's better to send an email. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. So uh, anyway, that's basically it. Find the link. And tell me what you think. It's Mr. Mark Excel for Amazon Dropshipping, and I'll see you in another video.